Writers use prepositional phrases to convey specific meaning. Let's practice adding prepositional phrases to our sentences. Make sure you have your Learn Zillion practice sheet in front of you because you'll need it throughout this lesson. Let's review. Prepositional phrases are phrases that begin with a preposition and end with a noun or pronoun. We call this final noun or pronoun the object of the preposition. Prepositional phrases are used to show relationships between nouns or verbs in the sentence. There are lots of different prepositions, but here is a list of a few common ones. Let's look at some examples. Between the tall pine trees is a prepositional phrase. It begins with a preposition, between, and ends with a noun, trees, that acts as our object. Here's another example. With the spiky blue hair. With is our preposition, and hair is our object. Prepositional phrases can come at the beginning, middle or end of a sentence. They can also act as either an adjective describing a noun or pronoun in the sentence or as an adverb describing a verb in the sentence. Let's look at a couple more examples. The fisherman peered across the bay. Across the bay is a prepositional phrase describing where the fisherman peered. So it's acting like an adverb because it's describing a verb. And another example. The doe and her fawn are in the meadow, resting for the night. This time, our prepositional phrase, in the meadow, is describing where the deer are physically located, so it's acting as an adjective describing the deer. Let's do a quick practice. Complete the prepositional phrase in this sentence by filling in the blank with a preposition. You can use one from the list or use another one that you know. Press pause while you work and play to continue. I chose to use the preposition over in the blank. You might have chosen a different one, and that's okay. There are many reasons to use prepositional phrases. Two common ones are to add more detail and to clarify meaning in a writing. Here's a draft of a narrative piece that I've been working on. As you read, think about where we might want to add prepositional phrases to clarify meaning or add detail. Pause the video to read the text and press play to continue. Okay, let's begin by looking at my first few sentences. I want to reread these sentences and put myself in my reader's shoes for a minute. I'm going to ask myself, can my reader visualize exactly how the scene is laid out? I think we might be able to add some detail in this last sentence to make my meaning a little bit clearer. Because prepositions usually tell us information about the location of a noun or pronoun, a helpful question to ask is, where? as in, where is the object, or where is this action taking place? Nathan's uncle tells him to put the key in, but where should he put the key? I could ask myself the same thing for this next part of the sentence. Where should he turn the key? A couple of prepositional phrases will answer these questions, and in doing so, help my reader visualize this scene. How about, into the ignition and to the right? Help me put these phrases in the sentence. On your paper, write the prepositional phrases in the appropriate blanks. Pause the video while you work and press play to continue. Are you ready to check your answer? Your new sentence should look like this. Notice how I've placed each prepositional phrase as close as I could to the word it's modifying. Into the ignition acts like an adverb telling Nathan where to put the key and to the right acts like an adverb telling him where to turn the key. Now my reader can visualize exactly what's happening in this scene. Let's move on to the next few sentences. Again, I want to ask myself, can my reader visualize exactly how the scene is laid out? Where do you think we should add a prepositional phrase to clarify meaning? Circle a noun in the last sentence where my reader r might need more information about its location in order to imagine this scene. Pause the video while you work and press play to continue. You might not have circled the same noun I did, but I think that the location of the word switch is a bit unclear. So I want to clarify its location by asking myself, where? Specifically, where is the switch? 
Well, the switch is on Nathan's left beside the speaker. In this sentence, I actually used two prepositional phrases to describe the switch's location. These phrases work as adjectives because they are describing the noun switch. It is perfectly acceptable to use two prepositional phrases in a row if it helps describe the scene. Notice how there is no comma in between the phrases. Whenever we put two phrases together like this, we don't need to separate them with a comma. Okay, we're almost done. This time, I want you to try the process on your own. Rewrite one of the sentences here to include a prepositional phrase. Remember, your prepositional phrase might act as an adverb, describing a verb, or an adjective, describing a noun or pronoun. To help you decide where to add your phrase, don't forget to ask yourself, where? If you're not sure of what the inside of a car looks like, just use your imagination. Pause the video while you work and press play to continue. Now, you might not have the same answer as I do, and that's okay. I decided to add a prepositional phrase telling us where you'll find a lever. So I wrote, rewrote this last sentence like this. Underneath your seat, you'll find a lever to move yourself forward or backward. And that's it. Now, I feel confident that my reader will be able to visualize exactly where everything is in this passage. Take a moment to read the revised draft. Pause the video while you read and press play when you finish. Now it's your turn to give it a try on your own. Read this draft and revise it using what you've learned in this lesson. Press pause while you work and play to continue. Now edit your own writing by adding prepositional phrases to give more information about nouns or verbs. Now you know that writers use prepositional phrases to convey specific meanings. This will make your writing much more specific.